I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for the week of March the 7th. This is a great time for you, Pisces. We've got your new moon this week. It's an eclipse. It's a solar eclipse. It's a total eclipse and it's a super moon. So there's like a whole force of fabulous energy there. It's dynamic. So this is really a time for you to get in touch with what you want, get inspired. And we also have Mercury connecting with Neptune, Neptune being your ruling planet. So Mercury and Neptune in your sign. So that really helps you to get in touch with what it is you want in this life for the rest of your life, however long that may be, uh, and how to get how to get it how to attract it. So Mercury is the planet of communication. So it gives you like a clear thinking. I like these two together because um, Neptune is like inspired thought, inspirational thought, almost idealistic. Mercury sort of brings it back and sort of makes it real. You can get it into some sort of thought form that uh, and into some sort of action plan that makes it real, particularly when it's about business because the planet of action might Mars sits in your solar 10th house, your career and business. So that helps you really just put those thoughts into an action plan and make it happen. Okay. Now, um, in that area of your business, we've got Saturn still sitting there for another couple of years. So, uh, you know, people don't like Saturn because they think, oh, it's hard work, it's limitation. Well, uh, I'm a Capricorn ruled by Saturn, so I've sort of come to terms with it. But what Saturn does, I mean, well, I mean, everything has two sides, okay? So we, we know that. And the other side of Saturn is that it's real, okay? So whatever happens under a Saturn vibration, and in this case, it's to do with your career and your work, um, is it, it puts down solid foundations for you to move forward. To. So this is a great time. If we put all this together and look at look at all this together, it's like inspired thought and, and the energy to really attract. There's a great great deal of attraction energy now. So you want to put your thoughts out there in the most positive manner that you can. So you want to think about what it is that you want to receive rather than what you don't want. Okay, there's a subtle difference here. Um, so you want to think in the positive and not the negative. Now the end result can be the same, but the vibration that it goes out on has a lot more attraction power. So you want to work with this energy as much as possible. Now, uh, Jupiter is right opposite you. Jupiter is your traditional ruler and, and it's known as the lucky planet. It's a planet of abundance and expansion. It is in um, Virgo, so it, it's not the highest vibration of Virgo, but it does keep it very organized and it's retrograde at the moment. So it, it once again, there's a little weakening, but it's still very magical. Now this opposition between the sun and Jupiter allows you once again to get real about it. So instead of all this energy being fanciful uh, and just up there not being able to grab hold of it and, you know, make it real, these other aspects which are if you look at them by itself, can be perceived to be not so great. When you look at it in the big picture, it actually helps to ground it, okay? And I like that a lot. So um, it's a great week. I do hope something great happens for you. It sort of kicks off, you know, it's your birthday at the moment as well. So happy birthday, Pisces. And it sort of kicks off. Uh, you know, new start for you, new vibration. I hope so. Love and luck to you. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please put it out to your social networks. Bye. See you next week.